Slinky. Hey people, Kate Slinky here. Big change and rework on some of the heroes. Firstly, we've got Hakrin. Hakrin, I've been testing him out still, and I still think he's decent to be fair. Um, I know, yeah, his buffs obviously can get removed easier and stuff, but I think he still could be quite valuable in certain situations. So I'm not too sure if I'm going to uh, do the old, uh, go to the altar and uh, recall the hero back. No, I'm not too sure on it yet. I think I'm going to stick. Uh, also, this guy, um, I've been doing a bit of leveling up on him because he looks really good for what I've seen so far. I'm doing a bit of a testing with all his new stuff he can do. Uh, let me find him. He's here somewhere. There he is. So, Idikris, that's his name. And, um, yeah, he looks pretty good so far. I've got to just get some more glyphs on him and get some better gear on him. But, yeah, it just seems to be more attack, attack, attack this guy. It seems to be a lot more decent. Still going to test him out a bit more. Still going to get his uh, ability up a bit more. Um, it's not too far off. But the one thing I did notice, as I was just showing through, which I put in a video today, is skins. And they look really cool. Um, I noticed the first on Ashrina. And uh, here it is, the Burning Goddess. And it looks so cool. And this is such a great feature to bring into the game. Um, it says you can obtain free events, which is cool. I hope they don't do it where you've got to pay for skins, because that's one thing in a game that grinds my gears and it's paying for skins. I just think put them as events for people to try and get that way. I'm not saying make it easy, make it tough for people to get. Do you know what I mean? Don't give these skins away. But paying for them just grinds it. I just I just I don't like it. But we've got obviously Ashrina here who looks super cool in that new skin. So yeah, hoping that is through an event where you can try and get it. Also, then I found three skins out of the champs I've got. Um move it up, I think we go. Yeah, that was it. So Black Horn was another skin. Um again, it just make it refreshes the look of the heroes. So cool. There we go, the people shaman. It looks so cool again, doesn't it? Um, and there's a little story for it. Behind it, again, it's obtained the events, which they've said should be coming soon. And the last one is good old Nat. So, Natalie, this is one of my favourites. Um, the skin looks so cool. The Wayfarer. So, yeah, that really does change it up. Um, what I read... I think they did some beta testing where some people tested out the skins, making sure they probably worked and stuff. And I think some of the people who did the beta testing got to keep them, um, something like that. Um, but that actually says TBA Pioneer Boon. So I don't know if you can get that one. Does it say for events, does it? So I didn't notice that before. So I'm hoping there is a chance you can try and get that one, not the other two. So yeah, it's a really cool feature to the game. I do like the skins. I think it does refresh the characters a bit. I do hope, like I said, that they don't uh, pay for skins. That's one thing I, I don't like doing. So I hope they make some events, make them tough, make them really tough to try and get so people can try and play and get these skins and obviously hopefully more skins, more heroes in the future. As always, hope you enjoyed my videos. Please check out my channel. Lots more videos on there for the game. And please hit a like and subscribe on your way out. Take care. Bye-bye.